Alrighty, let's tackle uh, this uh, question. This is um, quite a lot easy if you have uh, done the horns hands on. Let's look at first option A. A says only AWS. Only AWS excludes um, GCP. We are looking for some uh, more cloud vendors uh, which are supported. So for now, this is out. Alibaba cloud is not supported. So definitely option B and C are definitely out because both contain Alibaba. We are left off with now option D that is AWS and GCP. Microsoft Intra Permissions Management supports multi-cloud entitlement management across AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. That being said, this looks good. If we look at the official documentation, it's mentioned you can connect it to your AWS, Azure and GCP platform. So that's what is required. We'll lock option D as the right answer. Okay, here we go with an interesting question, uh, which will test your concepts on Azure Active Directory Domain Service, that is ADDS. Let's look at option A. A says create an Azure Key Vault. Azure Key Vault manages secrets and keys, but doesn't establish trust for certificate based authentication. Incorrect. We'll move to B. B says register CSX. CSX is nothing but certification authority as a trusted certificate authority. Microsoft Intra ID must recognize CSX as a trusted certificate authority before it can validate certificates issued by it for authentication. Let's keep this. We'll move to C. C says activate auto enrollment on certification authority. Auto enrollment helps distribute certificates but doesn't register certification authority with Microsoft Intra ID. So, wrong choice. We'll move to D. D says roll out Windows. Hello for business. Windows Hello for business supports passwordless sign in but is unrelated to configuring certificate authority trust. Let's delete it. We'll lock option B as the right answer. Let's bring the heat to the snow. This is all about Microsoft 365 um, subscription where we need to activate role assignments. Let's look at option A. It says Microsoft 365 Defender Portal. Microsoft 365 Defender Portal is used for threat protection and security operations, not for role activation or identity management. Incorrect. We'll move to B. B says Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Microsoft 365 Admin Center manages licenses, billing and user accounts, but doesn't support activating privileged roles. Let's delete it. We'll move to C. C says Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Microsoft Intune focuses on device and endpoint management, not on rule, not on rule based access control or application proxy configuration wrong choice. We'll move to D. D says Azure AD Admin Center. Azure AD Admin Center is the portal where eligible users activate role like application administrator through Microsoft Intra privileged entity management. That being said, option D is the right choice. Alrighty, let's tackle this um, question, uh, which is all about asking to ensure that uh, only users who accept the terms can use the access organizational resources. Let's look at option E. It says define terms and conditions in Microsoft Intune portal to guide access decisions based on device or app usage. Intune terms and conditions apply to device enrollment, not to access control for tenant wide resources incorrect we'll move to b b says set an access policy in microsoft defender for cloud apps to monitor and control user sessions defender for cloud apps governs session behavior and app visibility but doesn't enforce terms of use acceptance wrong choice let's move to c c says create a conditional access policy in microsoft enter id to enforce acceptance of the terms before granting access Conditional access policies enforce terms of use acceptance as a prerequisite for accessing tenant resources. Let's keep this. We'll move to D. D says apply a compliance policy in Microsoft Intune that mandates specific device posture or settings. Compliance policies assess device posture and health 
not user level terms of use uh, acknowledgement wrong answer we'll lock option d a c as the right choice let's bring the heat to the snow we got to choose the first configuration step let's look at option e it says modify the diagnostic settings for azure ad azure ad as mentioned uh, is currently known as microsoft enter id as well diagnostic settings should be configured to stream microsoft enter id audit logs to uh, into the log analytics workspace for visibility in azure monitor let's keep this we'll move to b b says use the update mg organization cm delete update mg organization cm delete updates organization level settings but doesn't control log export or monitoring integration incorrect we'll move to c c says execute the update mg domain cm delete update mg domain cm delete modifies a domain configuration and has no impact on audit log visibility let's delete this we'll move to d this is built an azure ready workbook workbooks visualize data but require logs to be ingested uh, first through diagnostic settings it's incorrect if you look at the official documentation here are the uh, steps it says browse and try d monitoring and health diagnostic settings and uh, we can select export settings from audit logs or sign in then add diagnostic settings so that's what is required lock option e as the right answer all righty this question will test your concepts on azure ad privileged identity management known as pim we'll look at option e first e says azure resources azure resources blade manages role assignment for azure resource scopes uh, but doesn't uh, not the directory rules like uh, cloud application administrator and what we are looking so he's out let's move to option b b says privileged access groups privileged access groups manages group based role assignment but doesn't show individual role eligibility for directory roles wrong choice we'll move to c c says review access A review access blade is used to initiate and manage access reviews not uh, to view current eligible role assignments let's delete it we'll move to option d d says azure ad roles azure ad roles uh, blade displays all directory roles and their eligible users including cloud application administrator what we are uh, looking that being said option d is the right answer okay let's look at this interesting question which is all about separating administrative privileges we'll look at now option e e says management group management group organizes subscription for policy inheritance and has no scope over user based role delegation in azure ed incorrect we'll move to b b says administrative unit administrative unit enables scoping administrative permissions to a subset of users aligning precisely with the department based delegation requirement let's park this we'll move to c c says resource group resource group supports infrastructure grouping for rpac uh, but uh, doesn't support identity management within azure ad c is out we'll move to d this is microsoft 365 group microsoft 365 group provides collaboration features but doesn't influence directly reveal administrative boundaries let's delete this if you look at the uh, official documentation it's mentioned administrative units restrict permissions in a role to any portion of your organization that you define you could for example use administrative units to delegate the help desk administrator role to regional support specialties specialist so they can manage users only in region that they support note that if you assign a role to a user that is not a member of administrative unit the scope of the role is the entire tenant that's what is required let's log b administrative unit as the right answer all right now here we go with a question where we need to activate role assignment for a user which is about uh, application proxy setup let's look at option e is microsoft defender for cloud apps portal microsoft defender for cloud apps portal is used for monitoring and controlling cloud app usage not for activating directory 
rules what we are looking a is out let's move to option b b says microsoft 365 admin center microsoft 365 admin center uh, portal manages licenses and user settings but doesn't support role activation workflows wrong choice we'll move to c c says azure ad admin center azure ad admin center provides access to microsoft intra privileged identity management which is used to activate eligible roles such as application administrator let's keep this we'll move to d and this is microsoft 365 defender portal microsoft 365 defender portal focuses on threat protection and incident response not identity or uh, role management let's delete this a lock option c as the right choice all righty here we go where we need to configure settings let's look at option a we need to select two correct answers as per the question two configuration settings so option a uh, option a and uh, b if you look uh, is azure ad role assignment supports both microsoft 365 and security group types when the membership is manually controlled so we'll keep this we'll move to c c says group type security membership type dynamic user dynamic user membership doesn't support role assignment due to lack of admin managed control incorrect let's move to option d this is group type microsoft 365 man, uh, membership type dynamic user microsoft 365 groups with a dynamic uh, user membership cannot be used for azure ad role assignments incorrect we'll lock option a and b as the right choice all right now this will test your concepts about terms of use let's look at option a is sign in logs sign in logs record authentication events but doesn't include terms of use acceptance status incorrect we'll move to b b says usage and inside report usage and inside reports provide adoption metrics but do not track individual terms of a usage for responses and so this is out We'll move to C. C says provisioning logs. Provisioning logs res reflect identity provisioning activities, not user interactions with terms of use. Wrong choice. We'll move to D. D says audit logs. Audit logs capture user actions related to terms of use, including acceptance or decline events, making them the authoritative source for this requirement. That being said, option D audit logs is the right choice so please 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 don't go away let's meet in next part of this series